Hi, now here we've got an example on hypothesis testing and uh, if you'd like to have a go just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready and you, as usual you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got here is Mrs George claims that 45% of voters would vote for her. And in an opinion poll of 20 randomly selected voters, it was found that five would vote for her. So we've got to test at the 5% level of significance whether or not the opinion poll provides evidence to support Mrs. George's claim. Now to do something like this, what we first got to do is to define a random variable. So I'm going to call it x. Let x be the random variable and that be RV for short, and it's going to represent the number of votes for Mrs. George. So just put that in, number of votes for Mrs. George. I'll just write Mrs. G for short. And we've got to decide what distribution our random variable X follows. Well, our random variable X is distributed as a binomial distribution in this case because we've got a finite number of trials, 20, and we've got the possibility of two outcomes. That is, a person will either vote for Mrs. George or not, so two outcomes. So if we call the probability P for success, that is someone voting for Mrs. George, we'll just call it P here. Now, what we've got for the null hypothesis is that P is 45% or 0.45. Let's just put that as 0.45. And if I was to just say draw a number line to represent our random variable x, it can take on any value from 0 up to 20 votes. Now, Mrs. George is expecting 45% of people to vote for her. And 45% of 20, 0.45 times 20, comes to 9. So she's expecting, generally, around about 9 people to vote for her. But in this opinion poll of 20 randomly selected voters, only 5 were found to vote for her. And 5 is, obviously, to the left of 9. And that's suggesting that P is not 0.45, it's less than 0.45. So that becomes our alternative hypothesis, okay, H1, that P is less than 0.45. And we're basing this on an observation, let's call it X, which is 5, and we're going to test at the 5% level. So I'm writing alpha equals 5% or essentially as a decimal 0.05. Okay, so how do we go about checking to see whether we accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis? Well, there's two ways that we can do this, and one is the method I'm going to show you here. The other is by working out the critical value, and that's done in another video. But for the moment, what we're going to do is I'm going to put this down. I always go for this style, okay? And that is reject the null hypothesis if we find that the probability of our random variable x, that's the number of votes for Mrs. G, turns out to be less than or equal to 5, given that we're assuming that the null hypothesis is true, that is p equals 0.45. We're going to reject the null hypothesis if this probability turns out to be less than 5%, 0.05. So what we're going to do is essentially find out a value on this line here where we reject the null hypothesis. And we're going to determine whether 5 is to the left of this barrier or to the right of the barrier. In other words, if it's to the right of this red line, we're going to accept the null hypothesis. But if it's below this, if the probability of being below this value is less than 0.05, 
It's a region where we reject the null hypothesis, reject HO. All right? So let's just work out that probability, the probability that if x is less than or equal to 5, given that p equals 0.45, what's it going to be? Well, it's very easy to get this result just by looking in the cumulative distribution tables for a binomial distribution. Remember, it will give us the probability of being less than or equal to a given value of x. So I've taken an extract from your tables. We've got a p-value here of 0.45. We look under n being equal to 20 and our observed value 5. And in this column here under 0.45 and in this row here where 5 is, we find that we get 0.0553. That is the probability of being less than or equal to 5. All right? And how does this compare with our 5%? Well, we can see that we were saying that reject the null hypothesis if this probability was less than 0.05. This value here is greater than 0.05. So that's telling us that 5 as a value, this observed value here, must be on this side of this line here. Okay? In other words, it's in the acceptable region. So we need to write a summary and essentially that summary is going to be that therefore we do not reject the null hypothesis. So we say do not reject HO. It's not significant. Okay, so just write that in. Not significant. And we've got to write it say in relation to what we're talking about here and that is that there is evidence okay therefore evidence to suggest that Mrs. George's claim let's just finish this off that Mrs. George's claim okay is correct and there we have one version of working out this particular test. Now you should be able to see a link here which will give you another way that we can uh, work this out and that is by looking at the critical value method, finding out how 5 compares to a critical value. So you can click on this link here and it should take you to that video. All right.